ASEAN Young Cyber Influencer Project, a platform for youth to reflect their ideas in several aspects relating to cyber wellness and promotion of digital literacy, where teenage producers aged between 17 to 25 years from each ASEAN member states or AMS will produce social media contents to prevent hate speech, bias, or cyberbullying, which create radicalization on online media. And to share the contents in their social media channels and relate through the public relations department's network and arts and collaboration network via the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I think cyberbullying is a very critical issue nowadays. And I also think that cyberbullying can be subtle, meaning that it will be hard to notice to someone, but it is really critical. Nowadays, we have laws and regulations that focus on cyberbullying. So if you cyberbully, you may get into jail or prison for a long period of time. So I think that raise awareness and really reinforce and educate youngsters about this topic is very important. I would like to be a spokesperson in regards of uh, supporting the community and combining our force, the youth engagement and youth co collaboration together because I think that as an individual can be competent in just one or a few areas but working together we can really reinforce our skills together and create an effective, whether it be small or a big project but it will be uh, valuable or important to, to at least someone. Since I want a future career in the profession of being a physician, I think incorporating social media or being a cyber influencer, I can disseminate or distribute valuable information more throughout the public. Personally, I think cyber bully can take place everywhere and every time because it's occurred on social media. So I think that we should be much concerned about this, not for me, but also my friends teenagers, students, gardens, and parents should be aware of this because this can be the um, significant problem in the future. So we have to concern about it more than we think. Uh, we should think before we post or comment to any sources of online platform to make ourselves safe and use them in a correct way. Hence, young ASEAN citizen is key stakeholder to the future of ASEAN, who are in risk of being social media victim in the digital era. Youth should be empowered to acquire the ability to access good information, analyze media, critically evaluate and create quality media content without bias. Youth with media literacy skill will be able to select appropriate media for improving their lives and finally become an active citizen who has responsibility to society. This is a very important step for ASEAN to move forward to a peaceful community and sustainable development.